While looking at this ECG, one of the first things that you might notice is that there aren't any P waves. Instead, we can see a quivering baseline with interspersed QRS complexes. These atrial undulations are the result of rapid and erratic atrial depolarizations and are referred to as fibrillatory waves. These fibrillatory waves have no association with the randomly dispersed QRS complexes. These fibrillatory waves can be either fine, less than 1 mm in amplitude, or coarse, greater than 1 mm in amplitude. When they are fine and have a low amplitude, they can appear as a smooth, wavy line, or even as a flat isoelectric line. When the fibrillatory waves are imperceptible, the underlying rhythm can still be recognized via their regular RR intervals. With AFib, the RR intervals are generally unequal in duration. As in this ECG, some intervals will be longer, while others will be noticeably shorter. Closed group QRS complexes, however, may give the appearance of a regular rhythm. Furthermore, in the presence of complete heart block, a regular escape rhythm will be present. The rate of the atrial vibratory waves can be extremely high, 2 over 700 per minute. Thankfully, not all of these impulses are conducted to the ventricles. Nonetheless, a very fast heart rate can result when even a third of these impulses result in ventricular depolarization. Since the RR intervals are irregular, the ventricular rate cannot be calculated in the classical sense. Instead, you have to count the number of QRS complexes within a 6 second interval and then multiply by 10. On first glance, an ECG like this can be somewhat perplexing. There aren't any P waves, and the QRS complexes are wide. This isn't ventricular tachycardia, but atrial fibrillation with aberrancy. More specifically, this patient has a wide QRS complex due to left bundle branch block. In this ECG, the fibrillatory waves are not as easy to appreciate. The irregularity of the RR intervals, however, are more clearly evident. The rhythm irregularity in combination with the lack of P waves helps identify this dysrhythmia as atrial fibrillation. Here is one final example of atrial fibrillation. I would just like to highlight something peculiar in the precordial leads. What we can see is a right bundle branch block pattern, but in a single beat. This curious finding is referred to as Ashman phenomenon. 